Hi, I'm Leslie Herrick, City Councilwoman, and here today with me for Meet Your Council are representatives of the Dearborn Community Fund, um, Emma Jean Woodyard, the Executive Director, and Denise McDonald, who serves on their Board of Directors, and with us is Gary Warrencheck, our Wayne County Commissioner and Commission Chair. We're here today to talk about an upcoming fundraiser for the Dearborn Community Fund and our partner, the Dearborn Community Arts Council. So I'm going to turn it over to Emma Jean to tell you a little bit about that fundraiser and, and all the good things we have in store. Well, we're really glad to be here. Thank you, uh, Leslie. Uh, the fundraiser is set for Wednesday, February 28th, in the middle of the week. It's a, a work night. Uh, it, it, it will go from about 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock. And the main focus is on supporting two cultural, major cultural organizations in our community. Uh, I'd like to really emphasize the fact that this is the first time that the two organizations have come together to do a fundraiser and the money will help to support the programs and services that they provide for arts culture and in the community funds uh, situation we also help support some recreation things as well. So it's going to be spread around among a lot of things. Why don't you tell us a little bit about um, the wonderful things we have in store for this event. It's going to be here at the Performing Arts Center on stage in the Michael A. Guido Theater. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about that? We had an event similar to this a few years back and it was, it was phenomenal and um, everybody enjoyed themselves so we're doing it again. You are going to be sitting on stage to have your dinner and there'll be a cocktail reception prior to the event and it's a wonderful time. You have to eat dinner anyway that day, so you mm -hmm. might as well come and have dinner with us. Thank you, Denise. Um, now let's turn to Gary Warrencheck. I'd like to ask, why would you get involved in being on the honorary committee of this event for the Dearborn Community Fund and the Dearborn Community Arts Council? Thank you, and, and I'm really happy to be here to help promote this event. Uh, my wife Vivian and I are very happy to be on the honorary committee to uh, help uh, inspire people to come out and join into this fundraiser. It's going to be a great night. We're very excited about the, as you just described it, the, uh, the, the sitting on the stage. If you've ever wanted to be on stage but you're, you don't want to, you don't want to dance, come <laughs> to this event because you'll be able to sit here, have dinner on stage, and then watch performers on stage while you're still on stage. It's a, it's a really great concept and, uh, and I believe and so many of us believe that the arts uh, and culture are so much uh, a part of the, the fabric of our community. I mean we have a great community in so many ways. Uh, we need to emphasize more that the, the heart and soul of, of any society are the performing arts throughout, throughout the centuries. And, and because of that, I really am happy to be a part of, of supporting these organizations that support the arts. And I hope you'll consider coming out and joining us that night on February 28th. As we're talking here, um, I just want to mention where we are. We're actually on the stage of the Michael A. Guido Theater where the dinner is going to be taking place and, and where we're sitting actually is where the entertainment will be. And housed in the same building, the Performing Arts Center, the Dearborn Community Fund and the Dearborn Community Arts Council both have offices here um, because of both organizations' support and connection to art in Dearborn. And so I'm going to ask Emma Jean just to tell us a little bit more about the Dearborn Community Fund and the Arts Council. The Arts Council Council uh, was founded in 1969 and it basically provides services uh, for other smaller organizations in terms of a calendar of events, uh, a resource. Their main job right now is to oversee the Pajeski Gallery here in our center and that's a big job because it is a, a gallery that is a public gallery and open to the public. The community fund got started later. We got started in the year 2000 when construction was going on uh, for the what we now know as the Ford Community and Performing Arts Center. Uh, our first big project was indeed helping to uh, get the resources necessary. We're 17 years down the road now and the community fund's focus is definitely more on the total community, not just the facility. But basically what we do with the community fund is we support other organizations through small grants. Uh, we do a little limited programming ourselves such as the uh, Pockets of Perception design team which works with young people in our schools. We work with the Youth Arts Festival every year we, where we bring in thousands of students on a given day to perform, to exhibit. So those are the kinds of things that we're involved in. And for the last few years we've also been a partner with the City of Dearborn on Dearborn Homecoming to help raise sponsor dollars to make that event happen every year. 
So thank you for sharing the details with us about this upcoming event to benefit the Dearborn Community Fund and the Dearborn Community Arts Council. The event is Wednesday, February 28th from 6 to 9 p.m. It's called um, Sculpting Dearborn's Vibrant Future. And if you want to know why it's called sculpting, you've got to come to the event and find out.